This is Shores, is that what it is called? Old buses are so cool. Oh man, oh man. What do you think you'd want for an old, I do want a straight eight just for fun. Like a Studebaker. Oh, no. What do you think you'd want for a uh, nice big grill as a wall hanger? Hate to be that guy. Some good glass. This is a 56 old Super 88. You can see the trim on the door. Yes. Just because it's wide there makes yeah. it a Super. Yeah, and like, like I said, that maybe the interior might be a little different. I'm not sure. But mine, the trim comes up to here. Okay. As opposed to going up on the door. And I would take this, but that side, the car's probably been on fire because it's all faded out. That's a nice shape of stainless. What would it. Well, that's a holiday coupe. Oh, okay. What's holiday get you? I was going to say, yours has the two slanted eights, right? Yeah. I think the holiday is more of a higher end package, I guess. Probably had a luggage rack over on the trunk or something for suitcases, yeah. like a holiday. <laughs> I don't know if this was a convert. That was a hard top. He's got the package around the bag. You almost can't like not videotape as he walks. It's just so much good looking sheet metal, man. Fifty-five olds there. One of these rows, he's got a. He's got like. A good half dozen 58 Chevys. Another one's got like a bunch of 59 Oldsmobiles. And he'll sell whole cars, right? I I don't see why he wouldn't. He's like, not, get something at, that's somewhat intact. Oh man, that's sweet. Something that's somewhat intact that you could drag out for five hundred dollars, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. You, <laughs> little frogs. I've been here when this is all just flooded with water and like the water's way up. Man, look at those guys. They're yeah. two feet in the water. Isn't that cool? That is awesome. It's not even sad, like, it's too beautiful to be sad. But it's kind of sad. Is there a part you have to get up here? I do. I'm in it now. Oh. At least it keeps it mowed. Yeah. Uh, this is a look, at, old. look at the grill. What what was in here? I think the turn signal. Slick, isn't it? it is. But this was a real convertible. Somebody cut the A-pillar, took all the guts out of it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that is cool. Found my straight eight. I, I don't. I don't know what this is. Buick. Pretty sure it's a Dynaflow in fact. 
Okay. Like earlier than like early fifties? Yeah. What do you what do you want off this one? I just wanted to see kind of the distance here. Oh. I got that measuring tape still. So. My seat. I was just seeing how much my package tray, if I cut it out and had a top. Okay. Because I, I don't know if the convertibles have a, like a shorter trunk. They look about the same. Would it be worth cutting all this out and using this? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. Gosh. I feel like you just take this whole back half with you for a hundred bucks. <laughs> That way, I don't know, that's deep crumpled in. Hmm. How about that? That's something different. 57 Chevy maybe? Or 55 sorry. Look at that. That's like uh, the Tuckers, remember? The, well, the Tucker oh, had that yeah. center headlight that yeah. turned with the steering wheel. I don't know what that is either. That's a Pi-A. They're known for having that big strip down the middle of the hood. Okay. Plus it's got the Indian Chief on in the front. Look at that, like, it's pretty much all gone, but it's still like decent metal. I mean, look at all this stainless on all these cars. He's got so much good, like, unbroken glass. It's not fogged up or anything. Look at that back window. I know, right? In good shape. That's kind of cool. Chrome. Yeah, he had another grill right at the end that did the exact same thing. Very cool. Yeah. Did you buy a door? Take it to your paint guy. I got you a door for I know. Comment below if you Stand know what six. this is. I think it is a no bar. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. Ooh, look at that intake. That's like the Offenhauser stuff that everybody wants, like aftermarket wise. Yeah. Long runners. Maybe like a Plymouth Valley. Look at that interior, man. Hmm. You think? I don't. I don't know. I'm not good on my Mopar. <laughs> Admittedly, like I'm not great on it unless I owned it. You know. It's a Valiant. Okay. There we go. We don't. We don't need people's help anymore. That's cool. Electra? La Sabre? I'm guessing Electra. God, it feels good. It feels good to get one right. See that big strip down the Pontiac hood? Yeah. That's kind of cool. That helps being fairly obvious. K car? Well, Daytona, whatever. A lot of these guys have been thoroughly gone through. Yeah. Seven up green. Oh man. Oh, does it have the old? Oh, no, I thought that was one of these radiator caps that or a temp gauge too. I like that spacer. Washer bag. I want to order a VIN number or 
Oh my gosh, I don't know. They did the bus bodies in Indiana, the Waynes. Yeah. yeah. I got a, that shed that's at my house that I keep feed in. Yeah. The old man who owned it with some ladies in the house now, but whoever built the shed back in the day worked there for the Wayne buses. And it was full of like HVAC blueprints. Is that carb spacer loose? Is it plastic or is that aluminum? Those nuts are they're on there. Yeah, they're there for life. Yeah, Bonneville wagon, I guess it's yeah. Flash ambulance. Um, I guess if it was a hearse, it wouldn't have been. Would there be like rollers and stuff back in here? Back then, they used the hearse and the ambulance as like one vehicle. Yeah, but if this was set up for a hearse, do you think the rollers would still be in it? Right. And, or if it was an ambulance. I don't know. I feel like the station wagons didn't have that big bubble of roof to them. What's the fiberglass back door? <laughs> How's that molded together? Oh, had a little curtains, or that's the headliner falling down. I don't know. I'm going with the ambulance. You think if it was a hearse, it'd be black? Oh no, look at the top. Yeah. If there's an ambulance, probably have lights or something on top. Um. Ooh. I don't know if that's got in it. You want to know? No, it's, it's scary. I don't want to get near this thing. I think I had the pleasure of taking a dump in that one. Did you really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, never mind. I'm not going in it. Jared pooped in it. <laughs> Look at his antennas. Those are great. Probably gone by now. Probably. Where about you? Windmills. Got that air dam on the back too. Yeah. The rails are adjustable. You can screw them and move it forward and back. That'd be nice. I'd love to take that suburban on a road trip and have like old luggage on the top of it. Yeah. Like yellow plastic luggage from the 80s. It's like the original car seat. good stuff we can, yeah. we can do it the one that's sticking out I think all your key freeze are gone 
place is pretty thick apart. Isn't it? Yeah. Adjustable engine in the back seat. Mm -hmm. Drilled out trunk. Ah. A dead raccoon. <laughs> no, I couldn't get it open. It was drilled out, so I was hoping something. That back bumper's nice. Oh, goodness gracious. It is low. Alrighty, thank you, ma'am. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Hey, Jared. I just uh, volunteered you for a huge obligation. Said I just volunteered you for a massive obligation. Yeah. You got to clear your schedule for the next six months. Devote about 40 hours of volunteer time a week. I noticed that when I said that I was here with you, you walked away. Well, did you pass all these T3 headlights? With enough 58s breaking down, like what, what, if you were in a junkyard, were you like saving spot? You know, like how would this happen? How would you be able to put all these 58s in a row? That's a wagon. That's Cool. Or did they just sell that many of them? I don't know. I mean, given the vegetation, it's all like it's not like that was put there 40 years ago and that one 30 years yeah. ago. And well, that's like you got a modern junkyard with late models, and they might have five or six Chrysler 200s. You know, when I was doing a door panel not long ago, I went out to Wise and they had probably six or seven of course maybe back then they didn't crush them like they do nowadays you know okay so in like 1974 people started like these cars are starting to age out and they just started like a pontiac grand am or crown vix just kind of yeah. okay that makes sense that's kind of crazy though i wish you could see their different colors you know right. that one was white that one was wagon was green two-toned black and white that's what you could do with your video title like 58 Chevy stock file or yeah like but the problem with that is then you only get like 58 Chevy guys you know well, you can make two different videos make a little short clip of this and... yeah that is crazy though that's a 59 there that one that so the 58 they went to the two or the four headlights it's like you know 50... well it's hard to tell these fenders are right and that's crazy and what year is this one with the piano grill that's 59 the 58 were, the grills were more desirable they were taller well the people would take them they you could cut them down to fit about any vehicle almost yeah it's like uh like legos like breaking off the yeah. pieces you don't need break off the flashing or whatever Hmm, more straight eights. If I was a girl who liked jewelry, I'm I'm really into that like bubbling chrome look. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Like a K jeweler, like aged chrome. Get this row. Oh, yeah. I 
I saw one T3, but it was busted. You keep saying how they don't have to be T3s, but I see you walking past all these other good light bulbs. Now that he wouldn't sell me those, it kind of makes me want them even more, you know? Oof. Lord have mercy. That is a substantial amount of... How does that not rust out real bad? Like, Isn't that crazy? I mean, you could have a foot of snow sitting on that. Can you imagine trying to pick something like this up? Oh, just crumpling half, would not it? Brookwood? Is that what they were called? Yeah. My goodness. I don't like it when my phone rings. Like I a, don't either. Like, I, like my heart drops and I'm like... Like what's going on? Is something wrong? Yeah, someone had like wife broken down, someone died. Wasn't uh Gerald looking for some oh he wanted a bus, didn't he? Yeah. I bet these things weren't wrecked ten minutes before someone came and got the engine out of them. They had uh, reserve fuel switches like under the dash, right? Like a motorcycle would. Really? I think I so. On the bug. Yes. It's in good condition for a slick hood, you know, really. Think about it. <laughs> That's their oil truck. Old blades. I think there was another slick sitting right here actually. Something was. Not anymore. I like those center caps. It's like tracking a deer. Like it's imprints. Like it was a 4x4. Four four. Oh, this was back then. What do you got? Yeah, straight axle front end. Looks like it. Alright, looks kind of off centered. 
Oh no, it's had a, look, they had to cut it out of the tree. <laughs> or if somebody bought it, I doubt they would have picked it out just to scrap, you know? There's a drive shaft. If it was a 4x4, four four, I'd kind of understand. This bed side's not hateful. Well. There's that rear bumper's a little tweaked. Custom cab. Yeah. Disturbed some bird tone. Yeah, well, twin I beams right there. Hmm. Watch, it's got the nicest handle known to man on it. No. She was electric. That bothers you, doesn't it? Truck tailgates get hurt pretty quick, you know, when you're doing truck stuff. Somebody said they got shot. It's like designed all twirly. Um, I could never replace the tailgate on your truck until you sell it. Like, look how many Ryan's gone through. And he just destroyed uh, it on the 3500 again. On his big dually? No, not his. No. The his old the is that like an 04 Dodge 3500? Bet that Motorcraft 2100 would run. My goodness. I know. Could have saved the car by doing that. Ooh, back glass. Unbroken. That's crazy. Ooh, factory radio. Oh, look at that. Slider glass for a bump. Yeah, that's a, I think that's these are hard to hard to get by. Another one. Just, come on. Well, that's a dense side. We don't. We don't play that game. We don't play that game. <laughs> Custom Deluxe A20. Was there a uh, Walter asked me about it? The sunburst thing was that just a Chevy? Thing. Is there any? What is it called in the square body world? It's kind of like a Native American type design. Uh -huh. I used to have that K20 I had was a Cheyenne. That's what this was. Is that a trim package? Yeah, I had well, it was a camper special, so one of the emblems was like a TP. I've seen those for the camper special. That makes sense. And then I found some emblems that said Bonanza because I like to show Bonanza, so I put those on there. And... Remember Paladin? I don't know if I want that much. A knight without armor in a savage land. Yeah. Have gun will travel, reads the card of a man. Look at this guy. Nice friends. Yeah. And a torque converter. 
These things have been gone through. Oh, yeah. right. 70 and up grill. That's what you see the most of it on the back side. Yeah. Oof, look at that grill. That's what my C10 had in it. It's 69, 70, and I put a 67 turn in there. I've never seen a, a junkyard so thoroughly. Uh, Is that a hat on? No, they had them and I forget why. It probably is a camper special. If it's got the toolbox on the other side. Did Ford ever make like a Longhorn edition? I don't know. Chevy made a 960. I like that rear bumper. Maybe. I wish I could get in there a little bit. That box is not hurtful. That's what I was thinking. Ah. Too many thorns. a little trim piece that said custom cab and came back and somebody already grabbed them. Yeah, I think at this place, if you see something you might remotely be interested in, you better get it. Yeah. Like I should probably go by that sliding back glass. Yeah, you probably should. But it's got, it had back glass in the seat, like a one piece, and it had the sliding glass in the bed. Truck or I don't know how to put it. Hold it. Jeez. I got Fire. The, yeah, I got the rear bumper off of it and the reason the door's off because I got the hinges. Passenger rear hinge? Yeah. The one that works so good on your. <laughs> oh, okay. I could be like a little bit concerned about the sliding black back glass, but that truck's got a, uh, a headache rack on it, so. Concerned about it breaking? Or yeah, yeah, like I don't, I don't feel like I'd ever be replacing on it. Got a nice stainless mirror on this side. Phone book. Two grill. Yeah. Yep. I played it with diamond plate. Ooh. Welded it with like structural rod. I think she was a dually. Oh, it would have been. been a Data 70 maybe. Mini truck. Is this a Mazda? I'm guessing. That's the 70, the true 70. So this piece was the same and they changed inserts. But I think the amount of screws you got, so this is a true 70, cause you got four screws. I think by 72, they went to six. I don't know, it could be the other way around. But that is a 70 insert. But my grill was stamp 70, was it? Yeah. And it had six screws. So it had different grill inserts in it? Yeah, I had 72 inserts on a 70 grill housing, I guess. But that should be... This is like my 66 with hose clamps around the steering column.
starting to get muggy later in the day. You know what that? Like the highs at 7 p.m. or something. I think Friday? Maybe tomorrow? 80? Now you're going to walk around out here in the middle of the summer. Dude, I don't junkyard in the summer. <laughs> Unless I have no other choice. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. I don't know. Vented hood. <laughs> Corolla. A what? Toyota Corolla. That's Toyota Corolla? Why does it look so cool? I know. And why is it? Three stars with a C? Is that for Corolla? It says, it says Corolla on the glove box, so maybe it's a different make or something. I don't know. Yeah, it's all in uh, Japanese. Yeah, Toyota. Toyota. It's got a 2TC. Hey. 1,588 cubic inches, a 96 cubic inch. Yeah, 1588 cc. That's kind of neat looking for a Toyota Corolla. Yeah. You think they're like sought after? I don't know what year that is. The metal doesn't seem as bad. Didn't they have like a, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, what's next to it? Like a Ford Tempo? In equal condition. What's this? A Mazda? Nissan? Nissan. There's another Nissan. Yeah, it's got the same hood with the slats. This is a rural Indiana import section. <laughs> Nissan. Aerostar. Your call. Ooh, square body. It's cherry. There's nothing, nothing you can get off these things. Dude, people got the master cylinder off the junk truck. That's a blazer, isn't it? The giant boulder on top of that car. I looked up like it came from somewhere. <laughs> like, did something fall like a tree? I'm an idiot. At least it's shady over here. I feel bad not buying something off the old timer. I know. But I really don't want that back glass either because he's going to be like $40. Which is probably a good deal. But You wouldn't spend 40 bucks on it? I would, I guess. But I don't. I, it'll sit in my barn. If I buy it, that glass will never break in my truck. If I don't buy it, I'm going to break it tomorrow. But no, I got a headache rack in the back. And all I'm loading up there is round bales of hay. 4.3 liter fuel injection. I think it's a taxi. It's got a light on top. K-car? So well, you don't have to go in there and talk to him, I guess. Well, I'll get back and I'll never leave him. Hmm. These are always fun. Gosh. They didn't take the calendar. Oh, you know what I needed? What? Uh, I guess it'd probably be better to buy a new one. Turn single switch for the suburban. No headlights here. There's another Corolla. That one says Corolla on it. I got core support. There's like nothing to it. I like it. Is that Dodge?
rocker arms and some rocker nuts. Strip down tree fitty. AC unit. I don't know if I can get in here without. Uh. Mm. E20. That's a shame. Nothing. Not even a door panel. Not a door panel. Hot rod. Yeah. Well, I was focused in on this Dodge Stealth. <laughs> and then I said, whoa. Look at it. What? I don't understand what's happening. What? What's going on with this hood? Like, they had little scoops there. Yeah, right? but I'm saying like... You're gonna bring that hood around and then quit. The car was pretty decent actually. Same as a Eclipse, right? Let it bump hard. <laughs> that Mitsubishi made a, I think they call them the 3000 GT. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's the Eclipse. Like death. Looks pretty clutch though. I like the green and white. Yeah. It's probably where the sliding back window came from. Cavalier RS. You got the grill off this one? Uh, oh, bumpers. Ow. Stuck on the exhaust hanger. Free. Yeah, the uh, aluminum makes it look less grandma's porch lattice. But these doors, they had a plate around here that said custom cab in it. And it must have been a 64 thing, I don't know, but somebody robbed it. Yeah, I'm 
they got the seat. The two tons, got the emblem in the middle. Up top, we got yeah. the gear. Yeah. Check that out. Crown. Mm. Single gauge, yeah. Good glass. Good glass. I don't know what, if they were making like a crew cab or something, why would they take the roof off? Uh, probably someone needed that roof for their. Same cab, right? Yeah. I like how they rode around like yours was. Yeah. I mean, pretty easy roof to do, I think. They did a good job cutting it. engine though I guess it's just your run of the mill 352 I think I ought to get this it's kind of rough it is rust and... if it makes you feel better if we were smart we'd grab that glass and just split it and hold on to it who, my brother? Yeah. Like nice to your face. I was kind of here more like hoping I could find some art, like a door with paint on it, you know? Yeah. You want just to hang up on your barn? Yeah. I think he sells ethanol free gas. I think once indoor plumbing became a thing, they just like added a bathroom on the back of that house. There's like a shack with a tub in it. I guess you can't tell a beauty ring from a square body, you know, from another, right? Four by four, unless these are it. You wouldn't know, would you? I don't see why they wouldn't work if it's 15 inch. You know what I mean? Yeah, clips are all rusted out.